Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, June 25th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. What is it? Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, Jupiter is coming into Cancer today. And by the way, a reminder, my big Jupiter and Cancer webinar is this Friday. So check it out at my website, inclusiveastrology.com, because we are going to go deep into the future of this summer and what this all means. And I'm sure you're feeling the energy right now. I know you're feeling, literally feeling, as all this new energy comes in today. Jupiter really pushing into this new energy to bring us more security, more safety, for us to learn to take care of our emotions, to take care of ourselves. A lot of this is to move forward into new directions. We are in the sun and cancer, right? In a perfect grand trine with Neptune and Saturn. Oh my gosh, all the water energy is by, is lighting off. The universe is sending burp, 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 trumpets out everywhere. This is the new life. Now understanding this feeling, hmm, that's the question, right? Well, what does this all mean? I know things are feeling different, but what does it all mean? Well, that's Mercury getting ready to go retrograde right as Jupiter comes into Cancer. Mercury goes retrograde tomorrow, right as Jupiter comes into Cancer today. Talk about the universe playing some fun games here. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! With a big grand trine, I mean, all this powerful energy of us really starting to feel the universe, of us opening portals. This is a portal opening up in your life. A portal of change, a portal of new roads. A portal, a portal to follow the signs. A portal to move everything into your truth. Only your truth, your true vibration, your true essence, exposing the raw energy of what you want to manifest and what you want to feel. Letting go of all that is, the old, the past especially, that's all that Capricorn energy we've tapped into the last couple days. You know, leaving behind those past energies, those past roads that we've gone on to step into new ones. Because we're going to have a new sense of security, new emotions. It is this exciting energy that is brewing, especially with the moon in Aquarius today, as our emotions are excited, but they're also ready to disconnect from those old feelings of insecurities, those things that are frustrating us. It's time to leave those behind. Those can be actually what keep you from your truth. If you're frustrated emotionally, if you're not electrified into new feelings, finding new ways to step into what you really want in your life, to disconnect from what is not yours and not your energy. If it's not part of your truth, if it's not part of your soul, it's got to go. And these are the feelings that got to go now. We've cleared the mind. I think our, I know, I know our minds are ready to let go. And it is our feelings now which have to step into the power zone. They need to take control because feelings are a cardinal energy. Our mind can change in a minute. One minute I like her, the next minute I don't. The next minute, and that's, uh, that's mind stuff, but feelings. No matter what mind change, the feeling can stay constant and be like, well, I feel that I love her. I feel that I love her. While the mind's changing, 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 changing. It's a lot like music. The bass notes, right, can stay very consistent, but the highs, the lows, can, the highs and the mids can keep changing. Anyway, I'm a musician, but this is bass energy we're tapping into now. As the universe is throwing in a whole new bass line. Whoop, whoop, ba -wham. You know, and it is this new baseline which is really bringing us to the new direction in our life. And it's powerful. It's very powerful. It's very profound. And with Mercury about to go retrograde, it's trying to understand all this. It's, it's a snapshot into your life right now of why you're feeling the way you do and what we're going to come into understanding is answering the question of why you feel the way you do right now. There is a question that will be answered here, especially I believe in the next month, especially because after Mercury goes direct, you got to wait till Mercury catches up back to the position of retrograde. So it's going to be a while till Mercury hits this same place it is today. But the next month, month and a half, is going to reveal to you all the questions, the understandings of why you feel the way you do. And, um, and it's about getting us into a more safer place, a more secure place. A more warm, you know, basically the universe is putting a net underneath that you won't fall down. You won't fall through this. You can't get any deeper than Cancer. You can't go deeper. I'd say maybe Scorpio or Pisces, which the universe has all these open. The universe has you to find out all your energy, all your spiritual energy from the bottom to the middle to the top, to the high vibration to the lowest vibration and to find out why all this stuff needs to be understood. 
of how to get, at, get your life better. So it is about understanding all your vibration now. And with Neptune here, deep spiritual vibrations. With Saturn and Scorpio, the spiritual vibration is to live in your truth. You can no longer live in your crap or your BS anymore. It's gotta go. Especially with Saturn there. You know, it's your responsibility to build a business of truth. It's your responsibility to grow up and live in your truth. No longer be in that relationship. No longer be in these things that are not validating or replicating the mirror image of your soul. And that's what this is in Cancer. That it's going to add the salt or the ingredient of feeling. God, can you really feel that pain inside anymore? Or can you feel happiness? It's positive or negative emotions. So that's what we're stepping into. And on top of it all, you know, this moon gives you new ways to feel. The moon in Aquarius gives you new ways to feel. And it is going to show you where you're frustrated and not living your truth. I'll be honest, as all this new energy comes around, you'll know why you're frustrated. And don't think it's a mind thing. I think the mind thing is part of it. But it is actually because you are starting to expose more and more and get deeper into who, your soul vibration. And whether or not you're really feeling the way you want to, whether or not you're letting your past life energy still stake around, you know, one thing is all the energy now is asking us to really embed into our truth. That's what this summer is about, big time. And it's about not being lazy anymore. Cancer can get real lazy. People with sun in the force, people with cancer energy abundance, you know, get out of the bed, right? Even though the universe is gonna pull us right back into bed. I guarantee you've been wanting to sleep more lately, but with Pluto and Capricorn, we're going to talk about this as all this energy is coming. It's about sitting in bed or comfortable, wherever that is, but still realizing that there's an intensity to work, an intensity to create the structure of your life, the concrete of the life you want. It's going to take some work. You can do it while you're being comfortable too, but it's a balance of both. And more importantly, we're going to find out everything we've ever wanted to in, in this summer of the feeling that we want to feel inside. And that is exciting. So if you want to join my webinar this Friday, we're going to go deep into the next three months. I'm going to show you guys the charts. I'm going to give you guys dates. I'm going to show you what to do with this energy and how to access not only your past life energy, but your highest vibration. We're going to do a light ceremony as well. So please join me on my webinar on Friday. You can go to inclusiveastrology.com. If you've already purchased a ticket, you will be getting emailed the link to it in the next 48 hours before. So. Hope you guys are having a wonderful time out there and enjoy Jupiter and Cancer. You know, this is, wow, you'll feel this. Jupiter and Gemini is not as fun as Jupiter and Cancer because Jupiter, you know, I'll be honest with you, he was in his opposite sign. Now, he's faster and getting closer to home. And that's a big deal. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me at inclusiveastrology.com or you can reach me at my website, theleoking.com. Thank you guys so much for watching me and I will see you tomorrow.